My family and I would always come to the circus when I was growing up. Watching it when I was young was mesmerizing. And, you know, things that I never thought were even possible. When you see people flying through the air and all these just incredible feats. And I remember having that opportunity to come to the arena early and see some of the performers as they're getting ready for the show talking with my family in the car on the ride home and who would do what in the circus. Like my dad would be the ringmaster and we started making jokes about my well, mom was obviously a clown. I really had a passion for it. It's kind of instilled into everyone's head when they're growing up that if you can really work at your craft and practice really hard, eventually you can go to the greatest show on earth. Growing up the way that I did with normal life, I don't think anyone really thought I would run away with the circus. Oh, You're in charge of this, okay? Me? No, not you. Your brother. Here. And get me back my change. Go get you all some Can't breakfast. Make any oh, and you know what? Give me breakfast. Circus artists are very different. They are our original X Men. You know, they're our original superheroes. You know, these people fly and talk to animals and do all sorts of daring things. And when you do that, it's more of a compulsion as opposed to, you know, something I just studied on the side and thought I'd become. You don't. Know, you are. I think I was 19 or 20. It was my first time performing. I came here riding horses. I worked with the elephants. I've flown through the air on trapeze, on silk. And it's because they saw something in me. They wanted to see if I could do stuff and I was able to do it every single time. What I've learned about myself being on the road is that if I put effort into what I'm doing, I can achieve it. Eleven months out of the year, we're together. We work together. We play together. We travel together. The performers and the crew and the staff. I love them. I really do. And I still have friendships that I'm going to have until the day I die. People that have so much passion for what they're doing. They have this love for life and love for what they're doing. And. I mean, we're family. The bottom line is that the circus is one big family. When you have an announcement like that, like, okay, we're gonna have a meeting, rumors start flying. Like, okay, uh, Disney's buying us, or we're gonna close one unit, we're gonna merge the units to have the best, greatest show on earth. The room was silent, and when they announced the closure of the show, I think everyone was just stunned. The initial feeling was like an overwhelming sadness. Like, what are we going to do next? Like, what are we going to do? Come on. Come on, Sheldon. Shelton. 
Come on, here. Let's go. Come on, Roscoe. Shelton. Shelton. Good boys. Good boys. When I got Roscoe and Shelton, they were 30 pounds. They actually rode home with me from the farm on my lap in the car. Um, so we've seen them get this size. It's just a part of life, I guess it's show business, and it's the business side of it. And I'm sad that the, a tradition is coming to an end, of course. It's 146 years, and there'll never be another show like Ringling Brothers. There's opportunities elsewhere. lucrative anymore. If people aren't coming to see the show, you can't keep it in business. In, in my head, everything's going to be okay. And I think that they all know that too. It's just these next few weeks where they have to just get themselves there. It's life after wrangling, you know? If wrangling wouldn't have shut down, I would have stayed here until they kicked me out. I would have been completely gray with wrinkles that they still kept me. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be really, really hard. It's the final countdown. Final countdown. Mere days before it's all done. 146 years of history. Going like that, like a breath. It's amazing. Oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Up here trying to close the house, pack, start my life over. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk we'd be in this position? No. Never in a million years. I get that hour before the show to talk to the audience. So I get to get everyone revved up for the circus and get them excited for it. Oh my goodness! I've seen so many people flying from Colorado, from Texas. It means that circus has a big place in people's hearts. I'm happy they get to make that memory with their family one last time. But the closer we get to the end, it's like we're saying goodbye to the circus. We're gonna be fine. And the reason we're gonna be fine is because to come to Ringling, you have to be really good at what you do. You have to be the best of the best. So circus isn't dying. It's just this particular show is coming to an end. NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.